This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good afternoon, my Real News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for January 17, 2023. And in the news this afternoon, body found with a throat slashed in St. Catherine, suspect's home set on fire. The Spanish town police have arrested one person who is believed to be the main suspect in the murder of a man whose body was found with a throat slashed along Salt Pond Road in St. Catherine on Tuesday morning. Residents torched the suspect's home, which was not occupied at the time, in a fit of anger before the cops made the arrest. The deceased has been identified as Isaiah Atkinson, believed to be in his early 50s. The body had multiple chop wounds. His brother, Winston Parks, told the news that after not hearing from Atkinson last night, he went in search of him this morning and they came upon the gruesome sight. Him handicap, Mr. Me feel it to me bone. You would cry shame at the person who do this. My brother lively, him not trouble nobody, he added. The body was found at about 7.30 a.m. on Tuesday. The grizzly discovery snarled the traffic in the area. Traffic diverted from the Spanish Town Bypass as the forensic investigators combed the area for evidence. Three narrowly escape serious injuries in Mandeville crash. Three people narrowly escaped serious injuries following a two-vehicle crash on Manchester Road in Mandeville on Tuesday afternoon. The crash involved a Suzuki Swift and a Toyota Wish. The news understands that shortly before 1 p.m., the Toyota Wish was exiting Mayday Road onto Manchester Road when the collision happened. The Suzuki Swift, which was reportedly traveling towards the Northern Caribbean University, overturned. The occupants of both vehicles, three people including a child, escaped serious injuries. Police say the intersection of Manchester Road and Mayday Road is accident-prone. Opposition lashes FSC and urges government to break silence on SSL matter. The Opposition People's National Party is expressing concern about what it says is the apparent failure of the Financial Services Commission to provide adequate regulatory oversight of non-deposit-taking financial companies. The concern, expressed in a media release on Tuesday, follows reports of fraud at investment firm Stocks and the Securities Limited. The opposition noted that, in the case of SSL, it is now clear that the FSC had grave concerns about the operations of the company going back several years. The opposition said Jamaica needs to know what steps were taken by the FSC to address those serious issues when then identified, arguing that the concerns seem to have been ignored. This failure of effective regulatory oversight has been to the detriment of members of the public who had their hard-earned savings invested there, the opposition opined. This emerging situation is negatively impacting Jamaica's reputation, both locally and internationally, the party continued. The opposition is calling for the government to break its silence and tell the nation what it is doing to restore confidence to this critical sector of the economy. Baby Sham demands a government to take action after bolt fleeced. Ghetto Story singer Baby Sham has come to the defense of world record holder Usain Bolt after news that $10 million US dollars has reportedly been swiped from the former athlete's account at the Stocks and the Securities Limited. Sham took to social media yesterday and demanded intervention from government authorities. His post garnered endorsement from Bolt's A-team Lifestyle and DJ Kipridge. However, Devin the Doctor has taken issue with what he describes as selective empathy over the former athlete, now music producer's money. He was dismissive of Sham's comments and pointed out that all investors who had been fleeced were equally important, irrespective of their wealth and status, and ought not to be left out of any lobbying efforts. Protesters call for CPFSA heads resignation. A group of protesters dressed in black is currently outside the office of the Child Protection and the Family Services Agency on Duke Street in Kingston, demanding the resignation of the agency's head. They say Rosalie Gage Gray should demit office and allow for a thorough investigation to take place on the heels of the damning report by the Office of the Children's Advocate on the CPFSA's relationship with the founder of the U.S.-based charity, 
embracing orphans Carl Robanks. Robanks was flagged in the United States over inappropriate sexual contact with a child and had his teaching license suspended. The OCA report accused the Gage Gray of a gross breach of care for engaging Robanks through the agency task with caring for and protecting the nation's children. The placard bearing protesters drew the attention of passersby with a chance of Rosalie must go and Rosalie, where are you? The police were called to the scene and kept a watchful eye as things threatened to get disorderly as the protesters sought audience with the CPFSA head. Education Minister Favel Williams last week, Tuesday in Parliament, urged the Gage Gray to step aside, while Acting Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Maureen Dwyer, and the Public Service Commission scrutinized her leadership of the agency. The CEO, however, has held her ground and is still reporting for duty. St. Mary Man Arrested for Fleecing Employer A St. Mary Man is behind the bars after he allegedly stole the $260,000 from his employer. Peter Anderson, 52, an accounting technician of Lyndon Housing Scheme in Islington, has been charged with embezzlement. He reportedly fleeced the funds from a health services organization to which he was employed. The police are urging business operators to be vigilant and to review processes to prevent a similar incidents. Police seized gun and ammunition in Kingston. The Denham Town Police seized a Taurus 9mm pistol with a magazine containing eight rounds of ammunition on Asquit Street, Kingston 12 on Monday. The Denham Town Police say about 4.30 a.m., lawmen conducted an operation in the area when a man was observed acting in a manner that aroused their suspicion. On the approach of the police, the suspect ran and was pursued, however he managed to escape. The area was searched and the weapon was subsequently recovered. Meanwhile, the Ellison Road police seized a magazine containing several rounds of ammunition on Rockingham Road in the Kingston East Division on Monday. The Ellison Road police say about 9.30 a.m., lawmen were conducting an operation in the area when a man was seen running. On seeing the police, he reportedly threw away an object. The object was retrieved, and a closer examination revealed that it was a magazine containing eight rounds of ammunition. Investigations are continuing. Alleged the St. Catherine sexual predator charged. Detectives assigned to the Center for the Investigation of Sexual Offenses and the Child Abuse have charged a 32-year-old St. Catherine man in relation to a series of sexual assaults on a minor. He is Kemar Coleman, who was on Monday charged with six counts of rape, grievous sexual assault, buggery, and the sexual touching of a child. The police report that on several occasions, Coleman allegedly performed the sexual acts on a 12-year-old girl while she was at her home. A report was made to the police, an investigation was launched, and Coleman was arrested. He was subsequently charged on Monday, January 16, following a question and answer session in the presence of his attorney. His court date has not been finalized. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.